Okay, y'all. You ready? Let's do it. Let's draw this sunflower. Now, I'm going to take my time and I'm going to draw it slow. So if there's parts of it that you already know, you can just fast forward. And what I've done, I've this is a 24 inch uh, sheet of paper here that I'm drawing my pattern on. And of course, if you're drawing it on your wood, you won't use markers like I am. You'll use your uh, heat erasable pens or uh, you might use you might use pencil, but I wouldn't recommend it. But you may use oh, well, my colored pencils that erase. You might could use some of them. But anyway, I've marked all the way around my board. I've marked at twelve. I'm, do, I'm trying to find the center now. That's what we need to do. So I've marked mine at twelve. And all I'm going to do now is connect connect those two tick marks. Alright. Now, you may decide to put a border on yours, but I'm not. So, the measurements that I'm giving you are not for a border. But that now they do look pretty with borders on them, so you'll just have to kind of scale it down. All right, now now we've got we've got our lines 24 inches. Now we need to keep them that that long. So. This 24 inch ruler is not going to fit all the way across on a diagonal, so I got to get my yardstick out. And I'm going to measure 24 across this way and back across the other. So I need to place this on the corner. I'm, on, I'm lining up my yardstick with my corners, just like that. So I've got 17. I'm right on 17, but I need 24. So I am going to count to 29 from 17. Let me get back on that right inside that corner there. I don't, you want to make sure you intersect right in the middle. So from 17 to 29 is my 12, this way, and then I'm going back to 5, this way. So I've got 24 inches from 5 to 29, give me 24 inches. So I'm going to do the same thing over here, I'm going to make sure I get in right in that cross section of that center and I'm going from 5 to 29 okay so we've got got those drawn now the next one Next lines need to be. Let me work that out and let me come back and tell you. Okay, our next step is that we have to find the center of these marks between these two marks. We have to find the center in order for our sunflower to look right. So I've put my mark, I mean my arc, <laughs> I put my arc so I can make my marks. I put the arc back on the board, and now what we need to do is find the center. So, 
we have 45 between we've got 45 at 90 so this so we have 45 lines right 45 degrees between these two lines so the center of that is going to be 22 and a half so I just found 22 and a half and made a mark so I'll do it again over here there's 5 10 15 20 21 22 and then here's the half make sure you got it right on your lines now I keep getting off of mine all right five five ten fifteen twenty twenty one twenty two and then the half five ten fifteen twenty twenty one twenty two and then there's half. 5, 10, 15, 20, 21, 22, and there's half. 5, 10, 15, 20, 21, 22, and there's half. 5, 10, 15, 20, 21, and there's half. 5, 10, 15, 20, 21, 22, and there's half. So I'm just counting my marks. 5, 10, 15, 20, 21, 22, and then a half. So we have our marks now. So we know where to draw our other lines. And let me show you that. Okay. While y'all wasn't looking, I drew these lines again because I just didn't know if they were dark enough for the camera. So the first lines that we did are the blue ones. And then I made another set of lines diagonally across, and that's the orange. So now we're going to draw the next set of lines with green, so you can see them. Now remember, these lines all were 24 inches. Now the next set of lines we're going to make 20 inches. And we've made our tick marks, remember? We found the center, and we're just going to line our ruler up. And I'm going to get right on 10. So I've got a 24-inch ruler. I'm going to put that right on 10, lining it up with this tick mark and that tick mark. I think that's going to be too short. No, it's not. No, it's not. No, no, no. All right. All right, I lined them up with the tip marks. And then I'm going to draw from zero down to 20. Coming over here. Getting it lined up right in the center on that 10. And these two tick marks. And we're going from 0 to 20. So I'm just making the green lines are going to be 20 inches. And you want 20 on each side or each end. I get my ruler in the right place. All the way down to 20. And one more. Get it into 10. Line the tick marks up. So you're actually lining the tick marks and the, the center together. And we're going to keep my ruler in the right place. All right. Ten all the way down to twenty. All right. Now. Oh, oh, I'm so 
sorry, Willa. Now we're going to draw the center first of our sunflower. Now for the center of the star, we've got to do a little measuring. So I don't want I don't want mine to be that big. Now, if you want yours bigger, just measure it out longer, but I don't want mine that big. Um, and I know sunflowers, you know, the middle of it takes up the most of the actual sunflower itself, but on a barn quilt, you want the colors to show more. Uh, they're kind of whimsical anyway, right? So. I'm going to make my lines here two inches. So I'm making a tick mark. I'm, I'm on that first horizontal line now that we made in the middle. I put my ruler at two. I'm making a tick mark at zero and four. Now that the center of my block, my uh, sunflower. The center is called what? I can't remember. <laughs> but anyway, now I'm going to the horizontal line. I mean the yeah horizontal line here, and I'm making another one, two and four. Now I need to do that again on. It's the red lines. I'm thinking, y'all. Actually, it's every one of them. We need to we need to measure four on every line because we'll be using using the tick marks for different things. But we want to keep the middle, the center of our sunflower the same size. And I'm making these you know, kind of big dots here, but that's just so you can see them. Back on two. Center it on two. we've got it. All right, now we need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We need eight sides to the center of that. So in other words, we're, uh, it's not a stop sign, it's, what is it, oct octagon? I don't know. We need eight sides. You know, I I didn't look all that up before I started. So these two marks, we're going to line them up. You might want to take a tick, uh, take a tick, take a screenshot of that. All right, we're going to go over here and cross that other blue line. Go up here, we're going to cross that blue line. And come down here and cross that blue line. So now what we've got is four sides, and we're just going to connect this one and this one. Now, you'll see that'll look a lot entirely different when you're drawing it on your board with your pens uh, or pencil or whatever you're using. Alright, so that's the center. So we don't have to try to paint, you know, in every one of those little uh, little spaces like you do on a Love's Blossom or some of the other stars that we do. All that's going to be brown. And for that, I'm using a brown called Little Bear that's really dark brown. 
and I have seen people put black in it, but I like brown. Brown and yellow. All right, so we've got the center. Now let's draw. Let's draw the... I'm trying to figure out what would be the easiest thing to draw next for you guys. For me to explain it. Okay. So, what we're going to do next is draw the inside petals. So, we're going to have three la layers of petals. So, we're drawing the inside first. So, what we want, we're going to put our ruler at that tick mark and mark four inches and we're going to do it three six seven eight times so we want one here in other words we want one on each one of our 24 inch lines Now what you could do, I wouldn't recommend it, no, because, well, I guess you could. You could put it on six in the middle. If you got right in the center and put it on six, you could mark it at 12 and zero. And you'll have your four inches, so you could do it that way. So we want the on this pattern, it's the 24 inch lines, which are my red and, I mean my uh, blue and orange. I'm just doing it this way, kind of quicker. Get that tick mark and make you this one. It's actually from, from where we drew our lines. Sometimes that gets off when I'm using these big old markers. Okay, I got them all. Alright, now I'm going to draw it in these big, this big orange marker. So yours will look a little better now. So you, you see that first line we made here? Right here. We're going to go from the corner of that to that tick mark that we just made. Alright. Now we're going to have two colors in each one of these. So with our line that we drew when we first got started, that already intersects that petal exactly halfway. So I'm going to go to this corner again, this line, and go to that tick mark. So you see that's why we had to have a tick mark on each one of our 24 inch lines. I know these things look like a cartoon when I get through with them and if I'm doing one at home just for me, sometimes I use that little graph paper and draw it out that way. But, but for this video, this seems to be working better for everybody. I feel more confident that you can see it and figure out how to draw it. So I hope it works for you too. See what I'm doing is each each line, each mark on that uh, on the center. We'll have a paddle. See? So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight petals. With each one of them 
having two colors. So all that's going to be brown, and this is going to be two colors. And I'm going to use the same color for this row of petals as I am for my outside row. And that is going to be... I'm using Sun Park and Butterfield. But you can use any kind of a, a dark, a dark red. Uh, I guess you could even use orange with a lighter color orange to it. But um, you could probably use gold. But I like those two colors. So that's the ones I'm going to use here. And I'm going to have my dark on the right and the lighter color on the left. On both of them. On both rows. I'll probably say that again. Alright, now let's draw our second set. And that's not going to be hard. Because our second set of petals, we're going to go from the tip of that first petal to the, and these are the 20 inch lines, remember? And we're just going to connect those to the top of our petals. From the top to the end of the 20 inch. Okay, let me see. It's our second row of petals. Now for the next row, I'm trying to get another color of marker. Okay, for that row, I'm gonna have to do some more measuring. jumping that hole over there. I had paper across it. <laughs> I moved it. You can jump in. Okay. So for our last row of petals, we're going to go in the center. See this second row? Here's the first row. So we're actually Lining up with that first row again, which will be like right in the center. And we're taking our ruler, lining it up with the end of that first row, and just going from the outside of this petal. You see it? See that. Alright, we do it over here. So I'm lining it up with that petal. The end of the petal and the end of my 
24 inch line here and I'm not going I'm not drawing across that pedal I'm just starting at the end of the pedal and drawing up to my 20 the end of my 24 inch line all right I'll do it again all right for this one we're gonna line up with that one you see why I have to show you See that? Now we're going to line up with that one. There you go. Line up with this one. We'll go to the end of this one. Draw our line. Line up over here. We keep all of our angles straight. We don't have a flower. It looks like it got blew away by a hurricane. I'm just letting you watch me do this and you see what I'm doing. I'm just lining them up. to the next. So it's not this. Now don't do that. It's this. Always go back to your points here. In that first row. That's why I drew those first. Find that point, that the end of that line is the one closest to it that you're lining it up with, not that one. Now, now you see what we have? We got a real pretty sunflower. going to have different colors in it and now we need to now you could either you could have your leaves just a few leaves or you could have the leaves all the way around and I think that would be pretty to have the leaves all the way around So let me show you how I'm going to figure out how to do that. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to draw the leaves now. Alright, on every line, you're going to start at the end of the line, and you're going to measure one and a half. Now again, this is on 24 by 24 block. So I made a tick mark at one and a half. I made another tick mark on the other line at one and a half. The other line at one and a half. The other line at one and a half. So all the way around, you're going to draw a tick mark on every line at one and a half. But now in the center here, got you one and a half and you one and a half. I'm going to lay my ruler back down and. Tell you what, I'm going to line it up with that so I know I've got it straight. You 
see that and I'm going to make a tick mark at three inches but I laid my ruler down with that mark here just so that I could make sure that I was exactly in the middle of that so then I'm going to draw my leaf All right, now, if you wanted to, you could make the leaf two colors, but I'm not. All right, again, I'm going to line that up. And I want my mark here at 10 so that I have the center You see that? That's how I'm making my leaves. Alright, so I have one and a half and one and a half. I'm finding the center. I'm making sure I've got it lined up here. And making my mark. That's it. I'll do it one more time. Here's, here's my line. I'm making a tick mark at one and a half. Here's another line. I'm making a tick mark at one and a half. Another line. I'm making a tick mark at one and a half. Another line. One and a half. All right, so I'm going to come back in here. I'm lining it up. And it doesn't matter where your ruler is as long as it's on the, directly on a number so you can count three and make a tick mark. And then just connect those tick marks. Now, let me show you something else. Let me get this one done. Not show you, but tell you. Some folks, and I've seen this done, and I think it's pretty. I'm not going to do that on this one. But you can measure and leave. Uh, let see if I can say this right. You can measure this off again. Like, well, I don't want to mess that pattern up, but I'll, I'll show you. Let's see if I can show you. Like, if you wanted to leave a space between your leaf and your flower you could just measure it off this way and you would have that would be your leaf but you would have like if i'm gonna put blue on the background here i would have blue in here and and your leaf wouldn't be touching your flower does that make sense that's just a different way of looking at it and a different way of designing it, but we're not going to do that. We're just going to make all of our leaves touch. So I'm going to go all the way around with that, and then I'll come back and let you take a screenshot. So here you are. I got it all drawn out for you. And there is your star or sunflower. Now, let me show you my colors again. Well, first you take a screenshot of that, and then when I get through painting mine, which you've already seen at the, on the thumbnail. I'll show that to you, uh, and then I'll let you take a screenshot of it. But I've already got mine drawn on my board, and I want to show you the colors that I'm going to be using before I get started. Now, y'all know I'm not painting and taping up and everything like that on these videos. Um, 
I am planning to do some different types of videos where I'm just painting or just taping and that kind of thing. Haven't got to that part yet. But let me show you the paint that I'm going to be using. Now, it called for... Well, I think it called for... I, I wanted to use four different shades of yellow. Sort of gold tones to it. So, I chose Butterfield and Pumpkin Butter. That is going to be the outside petals and the inside petals. And I chose Sun Spark and English Daisy for the inside petals. So that'll just be one row of those. That'll be the, the ones that's uh, this inside row here. That's what I chose for that. Got a gnat going on around here. And then for my leaves, I use succulent leaves. That's a pretty color for a leaf. And then the inside here, let me show you. The inside of my sunflower, I chose Little Bear because it's really a dark color. And for the outside, I am going to use Aerial View, which is a very light blue. Now, I might do something in the corners or maybe add a little border. I doubt it. Um, I don't want anything taken away from the sunflower. I'm just dying to try some of those borders that I found in that book that I've got. So... But this one probably won't be it. <laughs> I won't try it on this one. Okay, you guys may think I'm crazy. I hope I'm not going to mess this up. But I'm thinking about a darker color for, for the background. I don't want to get it too dark so that my leaves don't show up. really thinking about this Royal Navy. I've, I've done backgrounds in black. And, and you know what? My safe bet would be white or light gray or light blue. But I really think I'm going to try it with, the, with this Navy, Royal Navy or black. Okay, I'm going to take a breath and decide, and I'll show you when I'm finished. Okay, y'all, I chickened out. I, I just couldn't do it. The more I thought about it, I just couldn't, I couldn't do it. So I didn't use that Royal Navy. I found... This, I hadn't used it in a long time, but it, it's working out okay. It's called Fresh Market, and it's a, it's a light, sort of a mint green color. And I think I'm going to like that better. But I've got it all taped up. Now, that took a lot of taping. I was glad I saved old tape. Not old tape, but tape that I had only used one side of. And that's what I covered the, all those leaves up in with. Anyway, let me get two more coats. I think it's all it'll take. I always put three and sometimes four and sometimes five. It's according to what color it is. 
if I forgot to put the gray underneath it, like if it's a red. But anyway, I digress. <laughs> Let me get the other two coats, and then I'll come back and show you once I get all the tape pulled off. You know, I want to show you my boo-boos along the way, too, because they happen. I don't know if you can see my leaves or not, but I thought I had them all measured out, and they were going to look fine, but when I got my, I think I actually put four coats on there, and when I got my tape pulled off, they were all wonky looking, and I know leaves blow in the wind, but I sure didn't want mine looking like that on this barn quilt. So I took a little piece of plastic and I cut out a diamond because the leaves are shaped like diamonds. Can you see that? I'm not sure you can see it. Let me... Let me put it on that. Yeah, you can see it better there. See, it's just two two inches wide um, each way. So that was the right size that I needed. And so I'll work on this thing for a week before I... I I'm not going to be satisfied with it until I know it's right. So I cut this out and I went around each one of them and marked them again with my heat erasable pen. Now here's the trick with that. Yes, I can blow that dry and take my little heat tool here and I can get rid of those marks, but I gotta be careful cause I'm painting over a painted surface. I mean, I'm marking over a painted surface. So if I don't put a little paint on that, to get all my marks covered up when it gets cold outside, if this is hanging outside or cold in the house, those little marks will show back up. Now, I might be able to take a damp cloth and wash them off. That might be a, a way to do it. And I might just try that on these just to see. Because I think I'm going to hang this up on the outside of my house. And that'll be a good test, won't it? That's what I'll do, and I'll let y'all know how that works out. I'm not going to put paint around the edges. When I get through, I don't know if you could see, I don't know if you could see some of that or not, but I'll, I, if, I, if I've got any showing, I'll, I'll let you know when I get through. And then we'll use that as a test. I'll hang it outside once I get it sealed and see if the lines actually show up. But I'll try to wash them away, like with a damp cloth, instead of just heating them up. Because I know that'll show back up, because I've done that test before. I actually put some uh, pieces of wood in the freezer after I... The, and, the, and the marks that I painted over never came back. I, I had it in the freezer like two days. And the marks that... I didn't paint over that was just on top of the paint came back in full force. So I know that once you paint over these heat erasable pens, you're good. You don't have to worry about them showing back up again. But we'll see if washing them off works. All right, let me get to taping and painting and fixing and I'll be back. All right, we're finished. Now, like I said, this one I'm going to hang up at my house because I have ridges where I had to go back and fix my leaves. And if this had been for a client or to give away, which that's what I like to do with mine, I would have never give it away. I would have started all over and finished this one and found another place at my house for it, but I'm going to take one down like I've got a red bird hanging up and I'm going to put this one up for the summer. But anyway, I could have sanded that down and started again. But I, if you're giving a gift, I would not leave those ridges in there, but that's, 
That's up to you, but I don't like them. I hang it far up high enough and maybe people won't see it. All right. So those leaves with succulent green. And then my background here is Fresh Market. Okay. Then the center is Little Bear. And then for my outer leaves and the inter leaf, in, in, the inside leaves, I have Pumpkin Butter and Butterfield. And then for the middle leaves here, I used English Daisy and Sunspark. English Daisy? No. I didn't use English Daisy, did I? Wait a minute. I did. I did. That's this one, and the sun spark is the darker color. I've been playing with four different barn quilts at one time, and I'm getting confused, ain't I? All right, and I may have already showed you guys that paint, but here she is. Let's get this video edited and get it up for you. You should see this one uh, March the 10th. That's when you should see this one, if all goes well. Subscribe and hit the like button and give me a thumbs up and hit the bell for notifications if you want to see some more of these. Okay, take your screenshot of your pattern if you liked it. And here is the finished results. If you want to take a screenshot of that. Now you'll notice that my inner leaves are not as long as the pattern. So you can make yours this size. I went out two inches or you can go out four inches. It's according to how, when I drew the pattern, I had planned on those being a lot longer. But then, when I drew my, my pattern on my board, you'll notice that these got smaller and so did these. But it, it's the same pattern. I just measured different when I started doing this. But anyway, take a screenshot of that and you can see whether you like the leaves more pointy or fatter. They're fatter using the pattern that we made. I know that sounded weird and it shouldn't have happened because I'm like, okay, well, here's one pattern, but I drew something different. But, hey, you can see two different kinds of 